So, I put on my lab coat. It's the opposite way. All right, lab coat's on. Time to go to the whiteboard. Ah yes, learning Pog, because everybody loves learning. All right, boys, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a history lesson. Did you guys know, back, back in, let me get my marker, 1948. Do you guys know what happened in the 1940s? Thank you. Chrome, Chrome got it right. World War II. World War II happened. The year was 1948. The U.S. had a bunch of parachutes. Now I'm going to tell you something. Anybody here from the great state of... Not a great state, but, you know, I'm... I'm just going to... Anybody here from Idaho? I'm going to tell you a history lesson about this little state right here. So they had a problem with beavers. There, there was a lot of floodings. And uh, the beavers were causing, like, a bunch of damage. So, Idaho had the perfect idea. The state of Idaho had the perfect idea. Let's take the beavers and push them somewhere else. So that's what they did. So what did they do? They had a bunch of beavers running amok. They had like 70 to 80 beavers just running amok. So, what they ended up doing to move them somewhere else, to move them out of the city and into a more better area for the beavers, a field, a nice little big foresty area for the beavers, they put them in little boxes, shipped them on horseback. This is... This is supposed to be a horse. Just... I know it looks like a really deformed capybara, but this is supposed to be a horse. And the beavers were shipped onto these horses and taken to the forest. However, the horses eventually got tired. And the beavers, they were suffering because they were... They didn't like being on horseback. I'm bringing this all back. Remember how I just said World War II ended. And they had a bunch of parachutes. Put two and two together. They had the brilliant idea of strapping parachutes onto the beavers, tossing them out of an airplane into the forest below. That's what they were going to do. They were just going to Basically, airdrop the beavers. Just Amazon Express shipping the beavers onto the forest. I was right, let's go. Yes, you were, mutant. You brilliant, brilliant strategist. That's exactly what these people did. So, obviously, they thought, are we going to be able to do this? Thanks to America being involved in World War II, they had a surplus of parachutes because of World War II. So, what they did, they already had boxes for the beavers, so what they were going to do was put the beavers into boxes with holes in them so that they can breathe and stuff, strap a parachute onto the boxes, drop them off a plane into the forest below. They needed to test this out, so... They got one brave little beaver. A very old but brave beaver. To be the test dummy for this little experiment. Geronimo the beaver. They put him in a box. They tossed him out of an airplane door. And on land... They would recover the box with Geronimo inside. And they did this not once, not twice, three times. They tossed Geronimo out of an airplane, land safely on the ground with its parachute. And with that, they knew what they were doing. They knew this was going to work. They ended up tossing out of this airplane door... 
76 beavers. 76 beavers were tossed out of an airplane in a box, parachuting all the way to the ground where their new home in a forest was going to be. They were going to be all airdropped into the forest below. And the mission was a renowning success with what was ending up being a, I guess you could call it, a 99% success. Ninety-nine percent success. But Proto, if it was a success, why is it only ninety-nine? What happened? Why is it only ninety-nine and one and not a one hundred? Well, you see, one beaver somehow managed to break out of its box and sent plunging down about eighty feet. They tossed him from like two hundred feet into the air, and one of them managed to get out of the box. That one didn't make it. As you could probably tell, since he got out. And you know, the box was parachuting. And this little bastard decided to jump on out. He said goodbye. And uh, that was the end of this one little beaver who kind of just went splat. And that was the story on how Idaho just tossed a bunch of beavers out of an airplane back in 1948. And it all started because of one little brave geriatric old beaver by the name of Geronimo. And a side note about beavers, their teeth are actually like hard enough that they could chew right through your leg. Gotta be careful with these guys. You know, if you if you come up in their watering home, they might just pop out and chew on your leg. And there goes your leg alongside your arteries, probably, and then your life. Anyways, that's the end of this tale. That was the end of this Professor Proto lesson. That was the story of Geronimo the beaver, and that beaver is what's going to be our shiny. Now, let's get back to hunting, shall we?